What's up y'all, Antonio here. I just wanna take a few moments just to share something that was in my heart that's based on my own life. And hopefully some things that I've been going through in my own life will help you with your life. And that is don't stop living simply because you are having a bad season of your life. Don't you stop living because you're experiencing hardship in your life. You may have had this relationship or this marriage or whatever, and you thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be with this person until I die. And the next thing you know, you get a text message, they out, clean out your house, clean out your bank account. What do you do? You're gonna crawl in a hole and die? You know what I'm saying? The, the, your dream job, you were right there. You thought you had the job, and next thing you know, they hired somebody else. They hired the person that you trained, right? Oh, you went to the doctor and the doctor gave you a bad report and now you're all up in arms and now you just want to crawl into you know a corner and just lay there and say i'm just gonna die forget it i ain't talking to you because you know i'm just making this up i'm talking to you because i have experienced the very same things in my own life oh my gosh i was eating myself into the grave eating myself into the grave i wasn't crying i was eating some people cry their tears. I was eating every bit, every bit of depression. Every bit of what I was feeling, I was just eating it up. And I just wanted to take some time to tell you to keep on living. What do you do in this moment, Antonio, when everything come crashing down? You keep on going to God. You keep on praying, right? You keep on showing up. You keep on studying the word you keep on growing spiritually you keep on developing yourself you keep learning you keep getting stronger what, what does that mean you keep showing up some of y'all like man i'm just done i'm through i'm quitting quitting what you're quitting i'm telling you right now don't throw your life away do not throw your life away in my own personal life right now if i had quit if i had driven off that cliff if i had jumped off that bridge I wouldn't be experiencing the things that I'm experiencing right now. The love of God, the love of community. Oh my goodness, ideas and visions and dreams. If I had quit, if I had hurt myself, if I had just said, you know what, forget about this life. If I had let this person leave in my life, abandoning me, if I had let them take away my hope of life, where would I be right now? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Do not get to the point in your life where you just feel like quitting. Some of you are already there. Some of you have allowed these things in your life to push you. And you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to talk to. I'm telling you right now, one thing I'm not going to let you do on my watch is just give up and just die. And just act like you have no hope. You have hope in this world. You do. You take this stuff to God in prayer. Get on your knees, right? Talk to him about what's happening. And continue to talk to him. Somebody say, I already been talking to him. Keep talking to him. Keep spending time with God. Keep growing. Keep reading those books. Keep writing in your journal. Keep singing your songs. Keep doing whatever it, it takes. I don't know what this brother doing back here, but keep on going. I'm just telling you don't, but, you, but I'm not going to let you quit. I'm not going to let you give up. No, 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 you cannot. Man, I'm telling you, I'm going to share something from my heart with y'all. You know, I haven't seen my oldest son in almost three years. The love of my life, right? My oldest son, my first child, haven't seen him in over three years. And you, and boy, my heart just been aching. Now, he's not a child. He's a grown man. But that's my boy, that's my son. Been longing to see him. And I got a call last week and he said, Dad, I need to come back home. Y'all tears just swelled up in my eyes. My heart is full. As of today filming this video, I supposed to see him tomorrow, pick him up from the airport. <sighs> what a prayer. I didn't know when I was gonna see my son next. I didn't know, but I didn't quit on him. I didn't quit on 
being a dad, I didn't stop. But you know, my heart, getting that phone call from him saying, dad, I wanna, I wanna be where you are. I need to come back for a while. This means everything to me. What if I had given up before the phone call? What if I had quit? <sighs> what if I had gotten frustrated, said something crazy and severed the relationship forever? My son is coming back tomorrow. Gives me a little more pep in my step, a little more reason to keep on living, a little more reason to keep going. An answer to a prayer. You might be in a situation where you feel like, oh man, this, this situation is, it's just out of my control. I, nothing I can do about it, right? It's one ever gonna be what I want it to be. And maybe it's not, it's not happening on your timing, right? The timing that you want things to happen. I want to see my son long before now. But for some, whatever reason, the Lord chose now. Things don't always happen when we want them to, right? I just want to encourage you out there. Continue to write down your vision. Continue to speak, number one, God's word over you. Number two, continue to speak what God said about you. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things that's, it seems like they're so far away, like you'll never get to them. I want to encourage y'all, don't, don't, don't listen. Don't listen to this temporary moment, the, the, this voice that's so loud. <clears throat> you'll never get it. You'll never make it. God will never reconcile it. You'll never heal it. You'll never come out of poverty. You'll never graduate. You'll never get that job. You'll never start that business. Do not listen to those voices. Do not listen to those voices. Listen to the voice of faith. The voice of faith in God. Don't listen to these potential failures that's in your brain. You could fail. No, listen to listen to faith. Build your faith. The Bible, the Bible says that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible also says that faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Don't you let what you can't see cloud your vision. Make sure that whatever you're looking at, even if your eyes are closed, you're looking through the lens of faith. And that is what gonna, that's what's gonna keep you going. When you feel like just giving in, throwing in the towel, throwing in every towel and every color that you can throw in. Your faith in God. It's your spirit that's gonna sustain you. Build up your spirit, man. The inner man. Not just outside, man. This outer man is, nah, that ain't the way to go. Build up your spirit, man. Keep walking by faith, not by sight. Some of you guys are having to smile through pain, laugh through pain. You're gonna. Some of you guys have to walk with your head up, and you, and you feel like you've lost everything. What you're doing is not in vain. Do not fail. Do not fall down. Do not quit in the day of adversity. Remember, you are strong you are not weak and if you are feeling weak guess what the lord is your strength the joy of the lord is your strength i hope this video has blessed somebody out there to keep going i love to hear from you leave me a comment and we'll talk to you soon don't you stop living just because lord just because life has gotten hard Take it to the Lord and keep on moving down the road. Keep ease on down, ease on down the road. That's what I want you to do. Just ease on down. Don't rush. Don't rush. If you got to crawl, crawl. <laughs> if you got to jog, jog. If you got to stop, drop, and roll, just keep moving forward. Talk to y'all later. Peace.